Hello ladies and welcome to my new YouTube channel. Today I'm going to share one of my favorite looks for fall. First I'm going to start with my primer. I like this primer as I have a texture sensitive skin and this primer really helps reducing this. I'm gonna warm it up on my hand and then add it to my face. I like to add it to my eyes too, to stop my concealer from creasing. And then I'm gonna use my H&M concealer. I like this concealer as it's very creamy and I like the coverage. I'm gonna tap it on my eyes because these days I really have very dry skin, I don't know why. So I just tap it slightly. And then I'm going to use my blender to blend it before I set it. Then I'm going to set it with my NYX powder before I apply any eyeshadow. I always like to put a light brownish eyeshadow over my whole lid to make it look smaller. I feel like it contours that area. See, I'm gonna add it on my whole lid. Then I apply this brick brown eyeshadow on my crease. Don't worry, if it looks like somehow messy, we're gonna blend it again with the same color I used before. I like to add it in a circular motion. And if you can see, I put the eyeshadow till that area near my eyebrows. I feel like it contours nicely. Try it and comment below. Then I used NYX Kohol on my waterline. I like this pencil as it's really good for sensitive eyes like mine and it's very soft yet I don't recommend it on hot weather because it's kind of smudgy then I do my eyeliner I like to focus on the outer corner of my eyes and I extend it.
then I'm gonna blend it with brown eyeshadow, the same one I used for contouring my eyes before. I then add some falsies and this is the key for this look when I apply them on the upper corner I like this trick as it really lifts my eyes so I cut my lashes into halves and then I add it to the upper corner And now I'm gonna move to my eyebrows and one of the very nice tricks that I, I do lately when I run out of mascara, brows mascara, I mix my brows mascara, the clear one, with my brows powder, any powder. And this will make it very nice looking. And I like the, the natural look of my brows using this technique. Also try it. And this is the final look of my eyes. I forgot to, to stick my lashes, but don't worry, I did it at the end. I'm gonna add more brownish to the crease for more contouring. And then I'm gonna clean up under brows with this powder. Clean up any mess in my eyeliner. Here's how it looks after I clean it up. Then I'm gonna use my Rimmel foundation. I'm gonna mix it with some moisturizer because my skin is very dry lately. And don't worry, the foundation looks lighter, but in reality, it's same as my neck. And because my skin is very dry, I tend to apply foundation, not in circular motions, not all the areas, because I don't want it to be like cakey or batchy. See the coverage is very dewy. I add the rest of my face. 
I don't know why my foundation looked that lighter because it's not that light. And then I'm going to use my, my sponge just to blend it more and make sure it covers all my face evenly. I even add it to my lips because it will be like a base. Then I'm gonna use this contouring stick that I really like and what I like about it, it really blends well and it doesn't look ashy when I blend it. One of the tricks to make your face look even is when I contour around my mouth. It makes the area between your nose and mouth smaller and this will give a beautiful look. And then I'm gonna blend it. See, this is what I like about it. It looks grayish, but when I blend it, it looked the perfect contour. And then I highlight under eyes with my concealer. I normally don't like the very light concealer because I like my makeup to look kind of natural. on the side of my mouth to add some lifting for my face. And then the tip of my nose. And then my forehead. Then I'm gonna blend it carefully with my blender. See, because the concealer is not very light and it's like one or two shades lighter than my skin color, it gives like a very nice blending with my contour. I'm gonna set but before that I'm gonna blend it well because I, may, I want to make sure there is no creasing at all and then I'm gonna set it with my Maybelline loose powder
don't forget you have to add like a very small amount of powder when we want to set this is the key to have like a natural look and dewy at the same time then I'm gonna set my whole face with a sponge and the key here is to add with a sponge not with a brush because I have a textured skin and I like how my skin will look after I add my powder with a sponge it looks smoother and more blended not like a brush it will remove everything I did if I do with a brush not contour because I don't like to add a contour powder it looks very ashy and muddy I don't like this look I normally add my bronzer just to the side of my face to add more depth and warmth it looks more natural And then I'm gonna contour my nose. I like this trick of extending my contour of the nose to my eyes and then blend it all. It gives a very nice contouring look. I don't know. Just try it and let me know if you like this trick. And then I set it with my powder because I don't like harsh lines. I like to add my highlighter first. I don't know if you guys do this too. I add it to the corner of my face and this will give you a very nice immediate lift I add the highlighter and then I add the blush I highlight where I want to highlight my chin, my nose and I use this kind of pinkish highlighter because I needed some color into my face then I use this nice pinkish blush and see how it blended nicely with my highlighter underneath I add some on my nose it adds kind of cuteness and then I use a brush to blend it all I told you I don't like harsh lines this trick is very nice to blend all the color together but you're gonna do it smoothly and softly then I'm gonna line my lips with this brick color I like to overline my lips and also this is one of my tricks for a bigger fuller lips for my cupid bow I overline it too. I do it like a triangle shape <laughs> and I like this. I like how it ends. And then I contour with some brownish color. I used a very pricky brownish color because it's fall, baby. <laughs> and I'm gonna highlight my eyes. If you can see, the eye look is very simple. The key is only on the eyeliner and the curl. 
I like to highlight all my face. I can eat the highlighter. <laughs> And that the finished look girls i hope you liked it please don't forget to follow and subscribe if you like my channel and write down below in comments if you like my tips thank you so much for watching see you next time bye